thanks again for tuning into my channel. My name is Lizzie if you're new and I would love it so much if you want to subscribe to my channel and help me grow those numbers and people that view my videos. Um, and if you want to like the video and comment, I typically do beauty videos, makeup hauls, uh, stuff like that. But I've been really into Bath & Body Works more than makeup lately so a lot of these past videos on my channel have been mostly bath and body work so if you like that kind of thing then I hope you would subscribe and let's get started I did a bunch of candle hauls um you know because it was candle day it was black friday and then I guess they have th something called body care day which I never participated in I'm not a huge fanatic of their body care but um yeah when it was priced that cheap I was just like you know yeah let's pick up some stuff and get it while it's on on such a good sale so I did get an online order because if you watch my candle videos my nearest Bath and Body Works is an hour to two and a half hours away and I was not gonna you know haul over to the store to check out body care items um, I'm gonna do that for the SAS sale next week so that will be exciting but yes for body care I just placed it online and unfortunately you can't use a promo coupon code online orders for some other deals like candle day and for this so that is the only downside about placing online orders sometimes so I could not use some coupons I had um, I just had to pay the you know regular uh, body care day, uh, day sale price which was $5.95 for like all other body care I guess there were like some items you really get the best deal out of, like I guess they're body butters and items like that, which I didn't do because like I said, I'm not really into a lot of their body care, a lot of their body moisturizers and lotions and shimmer lotions and whatnot. I'm more, more into like the um, shower gels, moisturizers and body wash, that type of stuff. So let's get started because that's what mostly the stuff is. Uh, two things though were the bubble bath. Um, ooh, this kind of leaked a little, I'm just noticing. But this is the You're the One bubble bath, and it is um, it was on the website, and I think it's usually like sixteen fifty or something. So I got this for a good deal. It's white birch velvety rose, a drop of strawberry nectar, and like I said, it kind of leaked a little, but that's okay. It didn't really make a mess. I definitely get the rose floral scent. I don't really know if I get the fruity strawberry scent, but I got two of these actually because I thought, well, it's such a good deal. I'll get two bubble baths. Um, you're the ones and who knows, maybe one day I'll be able to take a bubble bath again. We'll see. Um, we have a newborn, so, well, he's seven months old now, so yeah, that's crazy. And I also got, you're the ones, sparkling body scrubs. So these were actually good deals as well. The body scrubs are typically $18.50. Oh, the prices are on here. Yeah, the bubble bath was actually $18.50. And I think the you're the one scent was like a dollar more than the regular scents because it's new and so fancy I guess but so getting it on body care day where everything's the same is a good deal yep smells like the body um, the bubble bath so yeah I like their body scrub so I was glad to get that so like I said I got two of those and then I love this scent it is the I don't really care for like most of their aromatherapies but I love the um, the love one which is rose and vanilla so and I heard this one was actually might be going away so this is uh, their body wash and foam bath and I actually um, had used this before where it does make some nice suds in your bath and so I really like that and it smells really nice so this is $13.50 usually oh I got another bubble bath before uh, it sold out, which is another aromatherapy, which I said, like I, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of their aromatherapy, but this one is lavender and vanilla. It's sleep. It's the Lux bubble bath. It's pretty good size. And, um, this retails for $16.50 and let me smell this one. Oh, it does smell good. It's not, I don't know. It's kind of soothing. I, I'm not a huge lavender fan, but I think just, you know, a nice relaxing bubble bath with this would be fine. I got some, well, I got a moisturizing body wash, which is the Winterberry Wonder. These things are huge, so I do have, like, a pretty hefty size collection of these. That smells good. It is Ruby Frost Winterberry Sparkling Cranberry and Crystal Vanilla. Um, sometimes I would just use my rewards on the moisturizing body washes or anything, but um, that I decided I'll just 
you know, not use a real word for it. Um, and I picked up some shower gels. I got Fresh Sparkling Snow, really pretty bottle here. And it is frozen melon, uh, iced pear, frozen melon, winter apple, snowdrop blossom, frosted musk. These are sealed, so I'm not really gonna break open the seal just yet. I got coconut mint drop. So I think on candle day, when I was exchanging out the Dahlia body care, I meant to pick up this, but for some reason, you know, in the hectic crowds and everything, I just grabbed Frosted Coconut Snowball by accident. So, I mean, that smells okay, but I really wanted to get this one. Coconut Mint Drop, which is white coconut, iced peppermint, winter musk, and I think the color and the packaging is really cute. And then I got the Christmas Cookies, which was online exclusive in the shower gel. And this is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, caramel woods, and that just sounds delicious and yummy. And then uh, Dan actually needed more um, body wash, and I don't really know the men's fragrances too well. I mean, he doesn't really care. So I thought this one sounded nice, which is fresh water, and it's um, for men, it's three in one hair, face, and body wash. And this is Italian bergamot, mountain spring water, oak moss. And this I actually did open so I could smell it, and it smells good. Yeah, it's not like overly cologne or anything. It just smells kind of fresh and, you know, watery and stuff. So that I thought was a good men's choice. So that was all I did on Body Care Day. Um, let me just show you another small little haul I did after that. Um, because I know they're probably just waiting for SAS sale and everything. Um, so their candle, three-week candles haven't been like super discounted like usual or on sale. Um, but I have a couple coupons that are going to expire and... The three wigs were $15.95, um, and they didn't require our code, so I could use my coupon. So I was like, okay, let me just get a few so I can use at least my $10 off $40 coupon. So I picked up um, a few candles here to get to that $40 threshold, and I got, and finally, all, like most of the candles were back online. Um, I was waiting and waiting for that after candle day, and this is Winter Candy Apple in the nice glass white barn packaging. This was the only one, well, I also don't have the white gardenia, but I don't really care about that one. This was one of the ones I was missing. And um, what was nice is even though these retail um, cost more, $2 more than the usual three wicks, it's still the same price for the sale, $15.95. So I got that. And I never had a winter candy apple candle before. And so I really like the scent actually. So I was happy to get that. And then, sorry, I didn't open the boxes in preparation for this. <laughs> the next three wick that I got, this was an online exclusive, and it was this um, kind of retro label that released after Candle Day. And so um, I decided I would try smoked vanilla. I liked the color wax here, and I thought it would be interesting to try. And it is it's creamy vanilla, smoked sandalwood, rich bourbon. I'm not really into smoky scents. It doesn't smell overly smoky, but it's kind of weird. You do get the vanilla, but it's not like super sweet. It's kind of like a soft musky vanilla. And just like with that smoky you no know, mix with the vanilla, kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I would like that burning. I don't know if I would exchange it. We'll see. Um, maybe a little musty or I don't know do you guys like this scent I guess it's a return from previous years ago I don't know but it was my first time trying it and it's not one I would really typically go for nor do I really like and then the third candle I got <laughs> was um the pink apple punch from the roaring 20s collection and this was not in the store on candle day so only I got um Champagne Toast, Merry Mimosa, and Blue Dress. So I wanted to get this one. I like the pink jar and it's crisp apples and kissed melon sugar crystals and the little moon and clouds. And it just smells really nice and fruity and just fresh. And I don't know, it reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. It's that melon note it smells good. So I got those three candles to get to the $40. And so the $10 off really just paid for shipping and tax. And then I cashed in a couple rewards because I have like rewards 
racking up that I need to use. So I cashed in some single wicks. I got the lemon and mint leaf. Mm, this. Definitely that strong lemon note, but then you get that fresh kind of crisp mint scent in the background. So that smells good. And I also picked up sun-drenched linen in this label. Oh, I didn't read the notes, but actually... Oh, they did start putting the notes back on the single wicks. They weren't doing it for a while. This is cool cotton, crisp apple, soft to musk. Smells like a dryer sheet. It smells good. I like I like fresh laundry scents, so. And the mint one. Oh. Yeah, the lemon mint one actually does not have it. So some do, some don't, I guess. But lemon and mint. What else? there be so that were that was my two bath and body works online hauls um orders and thank you guys again for joining me and i hope you will subscribe and like i said i plan to go to the store for sas i haven't really participated in those really in the past um i think the summer sas haul or sale was not anything that caught my attention but i wasn't really like into bath and body works then but some of the new scents that they were previewing online, like Scents Galore and Life Inside the Daily Page finds, they all seem to have some new scents that might be released for SAS, and they sounded really good. So I hope I can find those in store or order them online. We'll see, but I'm not going to go like all out crazy. I, I'm really hoping some three-wick candles will be um, discounted uh, when I go so I could get a couple of those um on sale but otherwise thanks again and stay tuned for that video in the next week and a half or so okay have a good christmas bye